guys welcome back to the channel i'm your host ben and this is my iphone 6s that i have here it's currently running ios 14 beta 3 so as you can see i have the new clock widget here that i have and the new apple music widget that came with the update and i have the new apple music app so this is ios 14 beta 3 and if we're to quickly oh my phone just got stuck a little bit but if we're to okay it's it's a bit laggy in response but if we're to quickly go into settings and go to general and go to the about section you can see that you know the software version that i have with this update is ios 14. now since this is a beta it actually won't write ios 14 beta 3 but if we're to search up this build number 18a5332 f you would see that this is ios 14 beta 3. Now the purpose of this video is to actually see if Backtap came to the iPhone 6s or iPhone 7 and some other devices. So if we go into the settings and then go to where it says accessibility here and then go to where it says touch, you can see there's touch and then scroll down or look in the options that we have here, right? You can see that we don't have Backtap available on the iPhone 6s at this moment. So as far as backtap is concerned on the iPhone 6s, there is no backtap support. So that's something that came with this update and it's actually mentioned on some of the developer forums and discussions that people are having. So as you can see, iPhone 8 and 8 plus and SE 2020 gained support for backtap with this update. So if you have an iPhone 8 or 8 plus or an iPhone SE 2020 or anything beyond that was released after these models you have backtap supported but if you have an iphone 6s which is the lowest supported device for ios 14 then there is no backtap and the same goes for the iphone 7 and 7 plus so that's something that i thought i should mention and also something interesting that i should mention with this update is that apple mentioned in their release note that 3d touch is temporarily removed so on my iphone 6s here actually if i was to go to the home screen right you can see that i can 3d touch right so you would think that 3d touch is actually working and it's available but if we go into the settings right and go to touch you can see that this is where 3d touch used to be so it's actually not available as you can see here we don't have 3d touch available on the iphone 6s and for all those phones that support 3d touch 3d touch was introduced to the iphone from the iphone 6s so this is actually the first iphone that supported 3d touch and it went all the way to the iphone xs max i believe and after that 3d touch was discontinued and it was replaced by something that was called haptic touch so that's something worth mentioning and just to show you that this is actually something that is isn't there with this beta 3 update if you see where we are in accessibility and touch now i have another iphone here this is the iphone x now this is actually running ios 13.6 so if we go into settings and go to general and go to the about section here you can see that we have ios 13.6 on this iphone but if we go back to accessibility right and go to where it says touch you can see that you know we have this option here where it says 3d and haptic touch and if you click there you can see that you have the option to actually turn 3d touch off or turn 3d touch on and you can set how firm it is or how light it is so as you can see on 13.6 3d touch is there and you can set it on and off and it's working normal and as it's supposed to however when it comes to the iphone 6s here that i have updated to ios 14 beta 3 so if you have updated your device that supports 3d touch to ios 14 beta 3 then know that 3d touch yes will work however you won't be able to switch 3d touch off so that's just something small that i thought i should mention with this update and stay tuned for a follow-up video as i have quite a number of issues and bugs that i will be covering in the next video and as you can see some of my widgets are just displaying black so yeah that's something else that i will be following up on and i actually posted a poll on youtube 
YouTube where you can have a say on how iOS 14 beta 3 is if you updated. So if you vote and comment, then I'll use your vote and comment in my next follow up video. So that's just something small that I thought I should share when it comes to iOS 14 beta 3. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe down below. And thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and I will definitely see you in the next video.